trained professional. There's still a stick holding on in there. We'll get it out. But that's what she looks like. this morning and I call this stuff muscle wood I looked it up in a wood book years ago because it gives me fits like this it's like a beech tree but I try always to make sure it don't go through the chipper and this is why it's got my upper drum locked up um, just towards the end of that load must have snuck in there. Um, I don't see any in there in that bundle. But every now and then, it'll get brought up. Uh, the cutter guy, he actually tries to sort it out and throw it off to the side, but it gets drug up. One found its way in here, and this is what it looks like. Oops. Is that tree right there? This hunk right here has wrapped itself up around in there. wraps around that drum so tight that it locks it up and it will not move and if you don't catch it quick uh, obviously that don't beat off any bark so you'll have bad chips going through so that's this morning's project I gotta crawl up into a chainsaw cut it out unravel that thing so we'll see how it goes here get out of here everybody's always asking here's another thing too how these chains don't go to the knives um then we're called curtain chain okay if any of these chains break off and get thrown up there these chains just drag over top of the wood that's what these are up here too and uh, they're supposed to knock it off and they're supposed to make it so no chain goes up there to the knives. I've had a couple comments, questions about that. That's why this drum here is like 15 feet away from that chipper disc. So for a chain to go from here to there is really hard. Now has it happened? Once. Um, and there's a third drum, but that's not spinning that fast. So chunks don't go flying off into there. It's got to be pretty darn tricky to go all the way to the knives. Like I said, I've had, I had it once happen. And that was, uh, I've put over 5,000 hours on this machine. So one time in 5,000 hours ain't too bad. But that's the project. Don't try this at home. I call it muscle wood is it's got that grain to it looks like a muscle but this stuff is hard and stringy let me tell you Whew. 
get up in here and see if we can get this out of here. Boned up in there good. Cut this, cut that. Okay. seen some sparks fly out of a chainsaw. She might need to be resharpened. Polly put the old poly touch to her. Get her fire back up. But she's pretty dull right now. Wait, that one and that one there. It's just real tight. Don't want to lose the hat. We don't need that. No, sir. I see. You're going to try to mess me up. No one ever said logging was easy, did they? Or did they? Down there, you rascal. 
somehow this thing ties itself into knots. It doesn't just wrap around where you can just back it right off. It gets into knots. And uh makes it difficult. kick them on see if see if I have any luck with them coming out we'll see but I'm gonna get out of here in a second see how it goes Waiting on a truck, so it's not horrible bad, but see, it's got another one wrapped around right there. That stuff is just nasty. It just wraps itself all around these drums. See it? Right here. Another chunk. We'll get out of here and see if we if it'll pop out of there. Let's take a look in here. Don't try this at home. This is all done by trained professionals. There's still a stick holding on in there. We'll get it out. So that's what she looks like. Truck just got here. And I'm just getting the rat's nest out of there. Look at that. A little better up in there. But I had to get the pry bar. Took me probably half hour up in there. This was the nasty one here. Plus this one here. That's all the stuff there that was wrapped around that drum. Nasty stringy muscle wood. Hate the stuff. But whew, it's warm in there. Truck's here. I can go back to chipping. Oh, back to chipping. Log over there. 